Hi everybody! Today we're going to be doing a review of Rue Porter, which supposedly makes some of the best basic blank hoodies and sweatpants on the market. And you know, just like you, I'm always on the hunt for the best bang for the buck hoodie. Their garments are made in Portugal and are slightly more premium than most other blank brands. But are they worth the price? Let's find out. Ta-da! So I just received this hoodie in the mail. Uh, my initial impressions are that it's quite a dense but thin fabric, a lot thinner than I expected actually, um, considering I expected a really, really thick fabric um, since the cotton was listed as such a heavy weight on the website. Um, it is heavy and it is dense, um, but in hand it feels a lot thinner than I expected. Um, regardless, it's definitely heavier and denser than uh, an average hoodie you would get um, anywhere else. Uh, compared to, for example, a Champion Reverse Weave, it feels roughly the same density, but a little bit thinner actually. So I purchased an extra large, and these do fit really boxy and oversized, so I'll see how this looks like on me. So here's what we're working with here. It's definitely really boxy and oversized, and I do really like the cut actually. Uh, I really like wearing a baggy hoodie, and I don't like my hoodies to fit anywhere tight. So this definitely fits right for me. Just a quick disclaimer, I ordered this hoodie and this pair of sweatpants after applying for a wholesale account and I was approved for my wholesale account within a day so I would definitely recommend going that route if you can as it nets you roughly 50% off their retail prices listed on the site. One quick note about Rue Porter is that their shipping times are pretty slow. It took two or three weeks for the items I ordered to arrive and I've heard multiple accounts of this being true for other people who ordered from their wholesale division. So I don't know if this is the case or if it's different for if you ordered from their website uh, at retail price. Maybe they ship out faster, but that's just my personal experience. And I think that rings pretty true according to what other people have experienced with the brand. So here's what the sweatpants look like on pretty much the same material as the hoodie, so nothing to be too surprised at there. One thing I will note though is that the ankle area fits really tight, so after a full day of wearing them, you can actually see a red ring around my ankle where it's been gripping my ankle the whole day. So if you're between sizes, I recommend sizing up. Hopefully that will fix that issue. Um, I sized down to a size small and that was probably a mistake. Hey everybody, it's me from the future. So I took a couple weeks to edit the video because I got busy with work, but I've had a chance to wash the hoodie a couple times and wear it a little bit more uh, aside from the first day that I got it and give you my first impressions. And I can say, um, number one, it doesn't shrink. And in fact, it got a lot softer after first wash, which I appreciate. And I got a lot more of that worn in vintage hoodie feeling. Um, so I would say it passes the wash test and it probably would get better with age. Um, so I'd probably bump it up a grade from my initial review, um, just having it for a couple weeks and having washed it. So overall, really happy with the purchase. I highly recommend their hoodies. Um, they probably make the best blanks that I've tried and I've tried quite a few, um, including like Comfort Colors, um, River Champion Reverse Weave. I am interested in trying a few more, so please recommend any that you have in the comments down below. Um, I'd love to give them a shot and maybe we can make this an ongoing series. So overall, Rue Porter highly recommended. Their items come in all types of colors and they have a solid range of basics from crewnecks to hoodies to sweatpants to tees. Um, one minor issue is that their shipping times are quite long, so do be prepared for that if you do make an order. But honestly, nothing else compares to their quality at their price point. Um, so yes, I would purchase from them again um, if I'm looking for a, some basic hoodies or tees in the future. Um, so let me know what you guys think of this video down below. 
Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'd be happy to answer them down in the comment section. Subscribe if you'd like to see more fashion related videos from me and please like the video as it does help the algorithm. So thanks for watching.